Hello, I'm Maka Rai. Continuing from last week, I'm at the Olympus Museum in Hachioji, Tokyo. This time I'll be learning about Olympus as a medical equipment manufacturer with a 70% global market share of gastroenterological endoscopes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What is this I see here? It's a gastroscope and it's a camera to take pictures inside your intestine. Our company launched this in 1952 and it was the first practical inspection tool in the world. How was it developed? Originally, a physician pointed out that many Japanese people at the time had gastric disorders, such as ulcers and cancer, and he wanted to be able to treat them as quickly as possible. Since Olympus was making cameras, he asked us if it was possible to make a camera to take pictures inside a person's stomach. Our engineers wanted to realize his fervent wish, and in 1949 developed this gastro camera. It's something we take for granted now, but the idea of putting a camera in your stomach must have been revolutionary. These must be the parts that go into the camera. Yes. This is the second model, and it's been disassembled. The camera in front is this. There's a small lamp here, and this round part is the camera lens. Wow! And the film used at the time was what's called film patron, which was about six millimeters. So small! A lamp was attached and the film wrapped around, and this was repeated to take pictures. It was possible to take 20 pictures inside the stomach. Wow, with such a small film. And next is a gastro camera that's equipped with optical fiber developed in the US that makes it possible to look in as you take pictures. Before, you had to guess. You had to take pictures blind, but this is designed to be able to see as you take the pictures. Let's take a look now. Hold this. Okay, look through this. You can see it, right? I can. Can you see a honeycomb pattern? Yes, it looks like a honeycomb. Each of those dots is glass fiber. Wow. Using endoscopes, doctors can see the inside of your stomach, and the technology has developed so that they can take pictures of lesions and other abnormalities. Very interesting. This is how endoscopes have become widespread in the medical community. Yes. Next, I want to introduce you to videoscopes. Hi. With videoscopes, you can control them while looking at a monitor, and other people can also see the same image as you, so you can carry out operations together. So you can share the screen. This is a model of the stomach. A stomach model? Yes. Medical students practice with this. Hold this in your left hand, and this in your right hand, and put that in. Wow, it's so realistic. Is this the esophagus? Yes, that's right. If you use the lever, you can change the direction of your view, left and right, and up and down. You're in the stomach now. This is so interesting. I can see a lesion. Like this. Very good. Thank you. As you can see, this scope is very long and thick. It is very thick. This is a scope for the colon, which has a very complex shape and is very long, making it difficult to insert a scope. That's why this is designed so that the hardness can be adjusted. I'm going to turn this. How is it? Oh. Wow, it became hard. If it's soft, it could be pushed out, so it can be made hard and be inserted, and you do that by turning this with your hand. And if you want to make it softer, you turn it back to push it forward. This is a technology called variable hardness, and it was developed to make endoscopes easier to use for doctors. What kind of device is this? This is a surgery simulator. 
It allows you to see the inside of a patient's stomach while performing surgery. You use both hands to move the forceps on the right and left. I use this for right and left. And I'm going to try grabbing the frog. I can't judge the distance. That's a very good point. You're absolutely right. This only has one scope, so it's like seeing with one eye, and it's very difficult to judge how far something is. You can understand how skilled doctors are with their hands. This is impressive. At Olympus, endoscopes are being developed not just to see inside your body, but to also help treat ailments. Our mission is to develop products that reduce the strain on patients' bodies and are also easy to use for doctors. There must have been a lot of trial and error to get to this point. Yes, we've been able to come this far by working hand in hand with doctors. This time we brought you the program from the Olympus Museum in Hachiyoji, Tokyo. Hope you enjoyed it.